Hey, hey, Art of Likeability family. This week's episode is brought to you by the good folks over at FreshBooks Accountings. They completely updated their software to make it really super simple. So if you need to send out invoices, get paid online, and keep track of your expenses really simply, they got you covered. Go to freshbooks.com slash Aurel. They're going to have a little section that says, how did you hear about us? Make sure to put the Art of Likeability podcast and get a 30-day free trial. Let's jump into this week's episode. Welcome to the Art of Likeability, ranked one of the top podcasts in the world. In this podcast, you'll discover how to leverage likability to build stronger relationships, lead more efficiently, close more sales, and keep customers happy while increasing success in your professional and personal life. Let's jump in with your host, Arel Moody. What's going on, Art of Likeability family? Arel Moody here, your host of... You guessed it, the art of schmikeability. No, I'm playing with you. It's the art of likability. You thought I pronounced my own podcast wrong? You're, you're, you're false if that's what you thought. I know the name of the podcast. Welcome to it. We teach you, we help people on this podcast become more likable. That's right. You want to be more charismatic. You want to have deeper relationships, have stronger connections while being 100% authentic to you. This is a podcast you want to listen to, and I got a really great tip and strategy for you this week that really hit home for me. I just, it really just, uh, it felt like uh, the metaphorical two by four to the face, Hacksaw Jim Duggett, I don't know if any of y'all remember him from WWF before it was WWE, Hacksaw Jim Duggett. He used to have a hacksaw, he would run around the ring and go, ho, oh, and I don't know if you ever smacked anybody with it. Um... But that's the reference I'm going back. So if you're not a 90s baby that watched wrestling, that meant nothing to you. But it meant something to me. And that's special. But what hit me in the face was this idea. And actually, we had a guest um, on our show. His name was Perry Marshall. I think he came up with this idea. If he did, um, I'll give him credit. If it wasn't him, I'll just throw a random past guest credit for this idea. Now, we didn't talk about this on our episode. But um, the idea is simply this. If you wanted to uh, sell a horse, sometimes the best way to advertise that is just to say horse for sale. Explain the horse and then, you know, put it out there. Because it's like straightforward. It's like horse for sale. Like if you're not interested in horses, it doesn't matter how well I describe that horse. It's not going to tickle your fancy, right? And... The idea behind it, the premise behind it is sometimes we like to overcomplicate our lives and we just need to simplify them. We just kind of need to step back and ask ourselves, am I making my life simple or am I making my life more difficult than it needs to be right now? Think about that. I mean, think about everything. Think about the, uh, let's say you're an entrepreneur. Think about how you're running your business. Are you trying to make it more difficult? Um, As a manager, are you trying to come up with all of these fandangled new management styles and integrate all these new softwares? And maybe you could just strip it all down and just kind of get back to basics. Maybe you want to get with a girl or a boy. And you're thinking about asking them out and you're trying to think of all the right things to say and you're trying to think of the right timing and the right clothes and think of the perfect date even before you do it. And maybe all you need to do is just simply walk up to them and say, hey, I know this might sound out of the blue, but I'd love to take you on a date. There's a animatronics zoo exhibit coming to the area. Would you like to go? I don't know. Keep it simple. Like, like. Sometimes in life, um, the beauty is, is simplicity. I forgot who said this. There's a quote that's coming to my head. Um, if you know who said this quote, please correct me. A lot of y'all have been tweeting me, which I appreciate y'all, um, at Aurel Moody, A-R-E-L-M-O-O-D-I-E. Tweet me if you know. I just can't remember who it is right now. But basically they said, uh, you know, I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> but it's like beauty isn't when there's nothing more to add, when there's nothing more to take away. A lot of times, like something like if you could just get down to its essence, almost Twitterize it, if you will, like just say it in its most simplest, pure form, that's ideal. And I know myself 
for sure. I can try to try to make things more complicated. Try to, you know, like, you know, like I don't want to simplify or, you know, kind of broad brush over over any particular subject, but you know, when I look at my kids, I've I've read books um where constantly questioning and like how do we create you know help develop you know my kids the best way and you know ultimately at the end of the day as long as they know I love them and I got their backs and I won't let them make really really bad choices but like kind of bad choices they got to kind of make and learn but as long as they know I love them and I got their back that's you know that says a lot because I think a lot of people with mommy and daddy issues, it's because they're like, I don't know if my mom or dad like loved me for me and had my back. Like maybe they wanted me to be someone, but they didn't just love me for me. I was like, yo, as long as I love my kids for who they are and not for who I want them to be, and they know I got their back, everything else kind of falls behind that, I think. You know, just my opinion. If you're a parenting expert, holler at me. Maybe we have your guests on the show. Hmm? What do you think about that? So it's just a it's just a just a simple idea. Just maybe look at an area in your life that's causing you a lot of stress. Um, maybe it's your health. How do you how do you just simplify it? Make it a horse for sale kind of deal, you know? Maybe just, hey, look, I'm gonna just go to the gym. I don't have to worry about knowing a lot of times people do this to be like, well, what's the exercise? What's gonna be the most maximum efficiency exercise for my blah, my body type and blood type and you know, genetics. And maybe you just need to go lift some weight over your head. You know, consult your doctor, obviously. Make sure you're healthy. But like, you know, for the most most of us, like, yo, just go to the gym, like jump on a treadmill, run for a mile and bounce. Go to the gym, curl some weight, push it over your head, bounce. Like, you know, don't, you know, there's a lot of, I'll just say it. I'm going to say it. I'm just keeping it real with you. There's a lot of people that make their living off of confusing you. Um, they make their bread and butter off of making you feel like what you're doing can't possibly be right and you have to overcomplicate it and get into this really complex thing and maybe you just need to you know simplify it to simplify what you're doing just kind of look at it you know look at your relationship you know romantic relationship look real simple i love you you love me i support you you support me there you go just i mean simplify it how do they need to be supported how can you support them how can you let your ego go you would be amazed at what's beautiful when you let your ego go. Just simplify it. You know, I definitely am I'm going to have to mention cool folks over at FreshBooks. I couldn't, you know, I got to mention them folks. They sponsoring us. They holding us down. They simplify your taxes. So you got taxes coming up. You got to get them all done. Where your receipts at? Where your invoices at? You don't know because you don't have a system. Simplify it. Get the FreshBooks. It's real cool. They actually give you a 30-day free trial. Go to freshbooks.com slash Aurel. And how did you hear about a section? Put this podcast, Art of Likeability. So if you got to simplify your finances and simplify your tax life, boom. Stop trying. If it's not working for you and your shoebox isn't working for you, yo, just get FreshBooks. Give it a shot. Do it for 30 days. It's free. What's the worst going to happen? You don't like it? Just move on with your life. Maybe you do like it and it simplifies your life and you can move on to other things. But I, my, my challenge to you is to look at your life and ask yourself, how can I simplify it? What, what am I overthinking? If I, if I can be honest and transparent with myself. You know, the funny thing is most really good advice, if you ever hear it, it's pretty simple. You know, that like, you ever have like that, uh, uh, like old person, give you that old person advice, where they kind of just like, you shouldn't do that. And you're like, damn, that was good advice. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> it was like so simple. Um... I think our brains sometimes like to think um, something Susan Like, I'll give you a perfect example. It's a perfect example. A friend of mine's a magician, right? Pretty good magician, actually. Very, very good. And he does these tricks, and it blows everyone's mind. He's done it, you know, done stuff um, for me, and just blow my mind. And then I was like, "Hey, man, how do you, you know, come on, man, show me how to do a trick." And he was like, "All right, fine, fine." You know, magician's never supposed to tell. He's like, "You my boy, I'll hook you up, right?" Shows me a trick, and I'm like, "Oh man, that's it." It was it was this weird, I remember it was this weird feeling. Like 
the simplicity of the trick um, almost took away the magic of it. It's almost like my brain wanted it to be this like wizardry. Like I was like, I want you to actually be a warlock and I want you to show me the green energy that flows through your fingertips that allows you to do all these cool tricks. And in reality, it's, it's, not, it's not, it's just, it's a trick. Like I know it's a trick, but my mind wants to believe it's more complex than it actually is. So when I learned how to do some of these tricks, I was kind of like, oh man, that's it? But yo, like that's the beauty of the trick. It's so simple. But sometimes things that are simple create magic, right? Right? Like the simple things create magic. Look, you're struggling with health. Let's say I'm just making these up, okay? You just you I'm, I can't see you right now, so you fit this into your life however it works, right? Let's say you're struggling with health. Yo, maybe it's just like yo, just stop eating at past ten o'clock. Just keep it simple. Yo, do whatever you're going to do. Just, like, if you're eating, like, heavy snacks and cakes. Are you eating cake right now at midnight? While you, like, are you listening to me at midnight and eating cake? Pfft, I'm talking to you then if you are, okay? Put it down. Just, like, make a rule. Like, all right, 10 o'clock is a wrap, okay? You're addicted to social media. Feel like you want social media too long? Put an app on your phone that says, yo, at 10 o'clock, your phone shuts, uh, your social media shuts off. There's like free ones that do that, like app block or whatever it's called. Just type in app block or whatever, set a time, boom. Problem solved, you can't access the apps anymore. It's a wrap. So you don't have to stay up till four in the morning looking at apps that are causing you pain because you're tired in the morning when you could just get them shut down. Simple. A lot of people say, oh, but I can't, you know, I can't, I need my phone. Well, you know, Buy an alarm clock. That's simple, right? Like, a lot of people, the reason why their phones are in their bedroom is because their phone is their alarm clock. Well, if you buy an actual alarm clock, you probably get one for $5, $10, pretty inexpensive. Well, you don't need your phone in your bedroom. Problem solved. They keep it simple. Okay, you want to succeed in your business. I'll give you a hint. Start learning from people who know what they're doing. Read some books. Maybe put down the gossip magazines and pick up the business books. Then people say, but well, I don't have time. I'm so busy. If you have time to check social media, which you probably do, if you have time to read random news articles, which you probably do, if you have time to watch the news, which you probably do, if you have time to watch, you know, reality TV or you, I mean, yo, you have time to read a couple pages in a book. Look you know, get audio books. I recently just got a, uh, there was a book that I was reading. I just, you know, I couldn't finish it because of my travel schedule. And I was like, I'm driving. I don't have time to read. Get the audio book. Simple. Yeah, I'm ki- I kid you not. Simplicity. Simplicity. I want you to get this. I really want you to, to, to not just hear this and go, yeah, okay, cool. Well, I got it. No, like I'm emphasizing this because it's important. Sometimes the stress in our lives comes from the complexity that's in our lives. And if we just allow ourselves to simplify our lives, we can allow ourselves to be free. And I think that's a life that I'd like to live. And I think you deserve to live. Simplify. So I, my challenge to you for this week is to look in, look into your life. Look where you feel frustrated, where you feel like you haven't been getting the results that you want, that you've been trying so many different things. And how do you just simplify it? Get it down to X's and O's. Simple Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Just give it a shot. Simplify. Horse for sale. So how do you make your horse for sale, right? Horse for sale your, your life, okay? And I promise you, this is, gonna, this is helpful. But the information I share with you isn't. It isn't. This information is not going to do anything to benefit your life. But the application of this idea might just make you feel oh, so much more happy. And if you enjoyed this, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Seriously, do it. If you haven't, do it. Subscribe. I mean, why wouldn't you subscribe? It's free content. It's delicious. Bite-sized. Delicious. Sabroso is what my friends who speak Spanish might say. Mashisa. My friends in Korea. That's all I got. I don't know any other languages. That's all I got, people. If you Do me a favor. If you speak another language besides English, Spanish or Korean, send me a Facebook message or tweet or whatever at Aurel Moody and just let me know. How do you say delicious in another language?
let me know. But yo, simplify your life. Yo, reach out to me. Like, let me know. Like, I'm going to simplify my podcast right now, by the way. What do you want to hear? What's important to you? Like, if you haven't done so yet, by the way, go to artalikeability.com slash survey and let me know. Like, literally reach out. Like, I want to hear from you. So fill out the survey. Let me know what you want me to cover. Let me know what topics are important to you. And we'll, we'll make sure if I don't know about it and I don't feel confident that I know about it, I'll get an expert who does. I got a huge network of rock stars. If I can help you, I will. But reach out. Let me know, okay? Leave a five-star review if this information is helpful for you. Please share it with a friend. Um, greatest compliment is when someone says, when I ask someone, how'd you hear about the podcast? And they say, a friend told me about it. Big compliment, because that means a lot to me. All right? So I hope you have a great week. Simplify this week. Sending you a big old high five. You are awesome. Thanks for listening. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast, The Art of Likeability, and reach out with any questions you have. Until next time, remember, my friend, you are awesome.